We do want to focus on that fire that has been burning in southwest Miami-Dade for the past couple of days. Had it under control for a little bit, but firefighters kind of yeah, it's spread out a little some bit issues more. There. They're still trying to battle that brush fire that's battling close to homes right now and businesses. It's been over two days now that they've been battling yeah. this. And when we talk about weather, we talk about the wind. The wind also can affect these fires. So we want to bring in meteorologist Adam Berg with a closer look at how the forecast is impacting the firefighters fight to try and put those flames out. This is one of those unfortunate times where I wish wind wasn't controlling our mm. weather, right? Yeah. But it really is a, a big deal with all types of weather. So it's not surprising that the, the firefighters have lost a, a bit of control on this because the winds are so incredibly gusty uh, this morning. I can't remember the last time I've seen winds gusting over 30 miles per hour during the morning. So it's unfortunate, right? Really bad uh, uh, weather conditions to help get a handle on this. So where are we talking about? Where is this fire located? Well, it's uh, Miami-Dade County here, and it's uh, west of the Turnpike in a relatively low population area. I mean, there's your slight positive spin with all this. But again, this is a fire that is expanding. I'm imagining, though, that the brunt of this fire and the smoke should stay away from uh, the really populated areas, which sit just to the south and just to the east of where this wildfire uh, is. That doesn't mean that it's perfect conditions uh, near some of these residential areas, but it could be worse. That's what I'm trying to uh, point out here. Now, 385 acres burned here. So that has almost tripled since we were covering it yesterday morning. And here's why. Look at how gusty these winds are. South to southeast, 15 to 20 plus miles per hour. But that direction helps a little bit, pushes a lot of the smoke, a lot of the flames out over unpopulated areas. Most. This is not a perfect situation, obviously. As we look at the winds here, 20 to 30 plus. Look at that, 33 miles per hour, Key West. We're also seeing winds gusting uh, 30 plus all morning long. Temperatures into the mid to upper 70s. It's warm because of those south to southeast winds. We're going to stay mostly rain free. Unfortunately, rain would help. Warm highs around 85 degrees. I'll let you know if some rain rolls in. Your forecast into the weekend next. All right, Adam, we want to get to that location right now. Julia Bag is actually in that location that's being affected by the fire. Yeah, you see the flashing lights there. And Julia, it seemed like yesterday that things were getting under control. The winds really picked up and it made it really tough for firefighters to get a handle on this fire. It sure has, Chris Constance. And I have to say, Adam Berg hit it on the nose. The way the winds are blowing right now, you really cannot smell that much smoke, which is where we are near the populated area. So that's certainly a good thing and surprised us when we showed up here. Now, I just spoke with firefighters, and let me show you where they are directing their attention. So again, we're west of the turnpike here. Where we are now is Northwest 6th Street of 137th Avenue. So just beyond these fire trucks here, the road is closed. This is mostly a wooded area beyond your view here. There are some businesses and, of course, some homes mostly, like Adam mentioned, to the east and to the south of this area. That is the good news. The bad news is, Chris and Constance, you were mentioning that the containment on this fire actually dropped from 70 percent to just 40% at last check. That grass fire scorching some 385 acres, as Adam mentioned. And the flames also had firefighters shutting down about four blocks of 137th Avenue near Southwest 8th Street yesterday for hours. And the fire forced several people to evacuate from a nearby business here near Southwest 137th Avenue and Tamiami Trail yesterday afternoon. It started flaming up again from that side over there. Um, as of that, that's, a, that's all I really know. They haven't really told us anything else. They're just trying to get everybody out of the way because it might just go over because of uh, the way the, the wind's coming. Crystal Gonzalez told us a dumpster caught fire when winds carried flames over a fence there at her family's business, but she said it was just trash that burned. And we'll get it, want to give you another live look at firefighters this morning. The good news so far is that there haven't been any injuries here. No buildings have burned. We're going to take a closer look ourselves. We'll show you what else we can find as we keep an eye on firefighters' efforts to put out those flames this morning. Live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Julia Bag, NBC6 News.